Hi, my name is Andy Geppert, and this is my virtual exhibit for Vintage Computer Festival West 2020. I call this project Core 64. My project combines a layer of core memory like this directly over the top of an LED array. This allows the LEDs to show the state of each core when it's affected by a magnet like this. I designed it in the form factor of an electronic badge so that it's portable and encourages interaction. All of the logic and power and control is down in this lower layer of the board. And the next level up is this LED array. And then over the top of that, the core array is placed. The core array is scanned uh, constantly. And if there's a change in state that isn't expected and or a, a bit fails to flip when it's supposed to, the logic knows that there's a magnetic interaction nearby. So if I go, I'll explain why this is slow in a moment. If I go here, you can see the interaction, the magnet sweeping across. The way this works is when a magnet is held close to the core, the magnet prevents the core from changing state, and the firmware recognizes that and then lights up the LED. The board here on the left in green is the first prototype that I did, and it was a single board. You can see everything's taped on the back, um, and uh, it uses a Teensy LC. You can also see where some things needed to be fixed. The one on the right here is a dual board concept, um, which sandwiches the battery pack in between there, along with the LEDs, again using a Teensy LC. But this one uh, has some I.O. expanders built into it as well. That did not work out quite as I had hoped. Before I go into more detail on these prototypes, I'm going to jump back to the beginning of the project to share how I got to this point. I've long been intrigued by exhibits of core memory, especially the ones at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. I wanted to work with the core memory myself, so I started looking around for a kit to build so I could experiment with it. Initially, all I found was Ben North and Oliver Nash's Arduino Shield project, but it was not available for sale. About a year later, I found UC's core memory shield kit on Tindy, and I ordered it immediately. I put that kit together and had some fun experimenting with it. Beyond that, core memory is just nice to look at because the arrangement of the wires and cores has an artistic appeal on its own. Not to mention that this is an essential part of the Apollo technology that took humans to the moon in the 60s. But I wanted to go further with the shield and make it actually do something. Since each core represents a single bit, I thought it would be interesting to visualize the state of each core with an LED, and that led to my first proof of concept. I put together this proof of concept using a serial link between UC's 4x8 core array and a rainbow Duino LED array. It worked and was surprisingly fun to use. I effectively stumbled on a low-res touchscreen overlay. The next step was to integrate the cores over the LEDs. The closest match I could find was a 4x8 NeoPixel matrix. It didn't line up perfectly with the cores, so I made an adapter to direct the light to line up directly behind each core. I shared this proof of concept through a contest on Element 14 and in person with other like-minded folks at Maker Faire Bay Area 2019 and on Hackaday. I even had a basic game of snake running. The response was always enthusiastic and I could see people having a lot of fun with it when they used it. It ends up being something that is magical to actually use. It was clear from the feedback that I should pursue this project further. As far as I know, adding an interactive element to core memory is an original concept. If you've seen anything like this before, I'd like to know about it. Please share a link in the comments below. In the process of looking around the internet for similar projects, I found an 8x8 matrix that Rolf Bolger designed. When I saw his project, it was clear I needed to expand my project for a larger interactive surface, and 64 bits seemed like a great number to use for a Commodore fan. By studying the schematic, I could see it wasn't a major leap to double the number of cores from Juicy's project. Another influencing factor in my decision to move this project forward is the fact that it pulls together many interests I have in a single project. I've always been captivated by magnetism, electronics, designing and building, and in recent years, vintage computers. 
so uncovering a way to stir these interests together in a single project was a powerful motivator for me. The first formal prototype is this single board design in the classic green solder mask. This was also my first complete circuit board design project from concept to prototype. I used KiCad in a great tutorial series by Sean Heimel and DigiKey. This prototype runs smoothly with all 20 of the matrix drive transistors directly connected to the Teensy LC I.O. pins. I maxed out the available I.O. and even had to overlap some of the functions by sharing pins. The second prototype is this dual board design. To provide more I.O., I added two I.O. expanders. I just got this one working and it is running much slower than the first prototype because I'm using the I.O. expanders. Although I see some room for optimization, I think I'll steer away from the I.O. expanders and go back to the direct I.O. because it's about 100 times faster. You can follow the prototype progress on hackaday.io. I intend to make this project available in the form of a badge kit on Tindy. The lower logic board will be fully assembled with the surface mount components. The upper core board is the kit part of the project. The purchaser of this kit will be able to weave their own core matrix. You also have the option to create your own core driver logic and experiment as much as you'd like. There are a lot of directions you can go with just the base hardware, and I'm also including provisions for easy expansion and add-ons in the future. Thanks for hanging with me in this virtual exhibit. I'd really like to get your feedback and gauge the level of interest in this project. Please head over to core64.machineideas.com and fill out the simple survey form there. I hope to see you at a future VCF, and thanks for watching.